All right, long overdue video. I've been meaning to show my old town kayak and describe kind of how I set it up. So I'll go about as quickly as I can and maybe look at a few specifics more closely. First of all, it's a 10 foot, six inch kayak. Real small, easy to handle. Again, made by Old Town, the canoe company. It's called the Topwater PDL. And that's a pedal drive system they just came out with in about 2018. I think I got one of the very first versions of this. But again, 10 foot six, weighs about 70 pounds. You see the pedal drive system right there in the middle. And I'll describe that in more detail. That's about the heaviest piece and it comes out nice and easily. You can move that out of there. Uh, so from, from top to, 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 to back or bow to stern, got the drain plug, which I really haven't had to use, but you can drain it if you need to. Uh, a nice hatch here in the front. This does come in handy. It's accessible with one hand and it's sealed. Nice gasket around it. I'll tell you what I use it for. I keep my fish net in there when I'm traveling, life jacket just in case. And then I have a nice 12 volt lithium battery that, that goes in there and it's plugged and wired for my fish finder. So it's a real easy system. It's something I can take in and out each day. And again, you can see how easily you can handle this with one hand, the, uh, the, the front hatch. So that's nice. You can store rods if you need to, run them all the way the length of the kayak. Uh, again, you see the pedal drive from this side. It's a really cool little system with a good prop there. And I'll show you, when, once I put the camera down, I'll show you how that, that pedal drive works. You look in here, definitely not to be underestimated. This little hatch is waterproof, sits right in between your feet. It allows you to have easy access to your your iPhone, I carry a, a little battery pack with me that helps me charge my phone if I ever run out of juice. Uh, always have a night lamp, headgear night lamp, and I've got a few tools in there that help me to access the, uh, the prop here if I ever needed to make any changes or clean it out during the day. So sometimes some string will get in there and you can clean that out no problem. See the scupper holes in the front? Those are self-draining scupper holes. Really have not had to touch those since I've had this thing. I'm going on the better part of three years now in this kayak. Side pockets come in real handy. I usually keep soft plastics, different little baits maybe that I'm using during the day in there. A little container to keep my cords, the ends of my fish finder cords dry when I'm storing it. You can see a nice Hummingbird Helix 5, first fish finder I've ever had. Really impressed with this thing. This was a free rebate that came with the kayak. So all I had to do was send in a rebate card and. They sent me that, that fish finder and I, I did all the wiring and no problem. You can see the little Hobie adapter that I use to, to drill the holes and it runs right through here, right through the bottom there and into that front hatch. So no ugly holes, everything looks professionally done and no water gets in and out of there. Uh, moving back a little bit, you see the seat. It's a pretty good seat. Uh, I think they've actually upgraded these seats since this version, but it slides on a nice rail here can easily adjust the, the length and depth of it. Uh, I find it no problem. I can leave it on when I travel. That's another real nice part of this. Uh, you can see this side pocket, I've got my fish grips. I've got a pair of pliers here that are tucked in. Uh, this is actually a great product. Boom pliers, aluminum, no rust. Everything stays really nice and, and sharp and you don't have any issues. These things have been a, a really good um, purchase. You've got braid cutters there. You can do your your hook removals, no problem. You can also uh, remove some of the the hooks from lures if you need to. It's got the nice piece in the front that helps you do that. I I slide it right under there. Stays in place perfectly. Right along again with the fish grips. Uh, I also like the fact that it's open instead of closed. Some people talk about that, but I think having it open automatically makes it much easier to work with. All that strapped to the seat just in case, nothing's going to get lost. You can see under this seat I keep one little Plano that's got my essential lures, a nice towel, especially for the trout, it comes in very handy. Cup holder comes in real handy. I keep my Yeti cooler there that was a nice gift. Uh, the handles on the side, perfect, work great. You see the tracks, if I ever wanted to add more than just the, the fish finder I could. I uh, added a little cushion to the seat and that allows me to have a little bit more back support. I like, I like that uh, for comfort throughout a long day. You just again adjust the, the height and depth of the seat with these straps, works great. You can lay it all the way back, no problem, could take a nap in it, I've done that on occasion. Here's the rudder control, 
Uh, you can see this little lever here allows me to control the rudder. I come to the back and show you that. You unhook it and then you just use that handle and you can see how I can drop the rudder down into the water there, no problem. Very, very smooth and easy operation. Again, another product over three years has not given me one ounce of trouble. I usually keep it latched down here so that I can travel without it moving too much. Uh, you can see rod holders. The kayak comes with two rod holders. The two that are here in the front were standard with the kayak. I put the two additional behind there and angle them slightly less so that my rods don't get all tangled up. I normally use this first rod holder for the GoPro mount to do my filming. Uh, another little piece of the seat that I found very handy. You can lift this seat up and you can access a little hatch. I don't go in there very often, but it's a nice place to put a jacket. And also you can access your, your kayak if you ever had any issues in there. So that thing is waterproof, easy to access right underneath the seat. What I really wanted to show you was this railing I built. This is a cedar railing, some leftover cedar from the, the barn that we built here at the house. And I used that to raise my seat approximately three, three and a half inches. I find that that really helps me to sit up a little bit higher. Uh, I can see the fish a little bit better. A lot of times I can actually see redfish from a seated position. Um, that, that little railing system has worked really, really nicely. Easy to build strapped it down there and it doesn't budge at all and the seats seat runs right right on it nice and smoothly again this thing folds closes up no problem uh, also should mention you can stand in this kayak if you look at my other youtube videos you'll see a lot of standing it's got a nice soft cushion uh, flooring system there very very comfortable on the water when you're standing again moving back i'm going very fast a little string backpack that i carry on my seat this this holds uh, my suntan lotions and sprays and also holds a product that I highly recommend made by ORS. It's olive oil nourishing sheen spray. It's got coconut, a little bit of cocoa smell to it, a little olive oil. It's a spray that actually deters the gnats and the mosquitoes. Works like a champ. Very important stuff, especially down here in the swamps of Louisiana. I have had tremendous success with that. I think it's actually good for the skin, and if I had any hair left, it'd be good for the hair as well. Uh, my $4 bag that I can keep up to 30 trout in, five big redfish, kept as many as 50 big brim in there, $4 Walmart. I think that's the way to go. Much easier to handle and access, I find, than an ice chest. And also, it's uh, quiet. You don't, don't hear it all banging around like you hear in an ice chest. Nice little bag that I can keep my my snacks and lunch sandwiches up in the top they can stay cool not not cold uh, side pockets and then it's got a big bucket pocket here in the inside it allows you to keep all your drinks and everything ice cold without water dripping out of it a couple of essential tackle boxes I'll keep my string extra string in there and again you see the rudder in the back uh, pretty cool pretty cool looking kayak it's it's a catamaran type system on the bottom. I might try to show you that in a little bit, but it, it really goes through the water nice and smoothly. Paddle holder, I improvised here. The clip that came with the paddle holder, uh, the, the strap lockdown broke, so I just used some of that extra bungee cord that I had, and that stays locked in there nice and tight. I lost the paddle, so I learned my lesson. Uh, if you see this little rig here with more bungee cord, that's a, a homemade anchor trolley that I use. A lot of times I'll I'll use an anchor pole and stick it down into the into the marsh and it allows with a bungee cord attached to it it allows the kayak to to move uh, into a straight line i can either have it come all the way to the back or i can position it up to the front and and kind of use the current to keep the kayak nice and still uh, sometimes when i'm really catching i have a wrist brace that that'll help you on those days where you're doing a lot of catching a lot of crankbait fishing maybe here's a pretty cool little paddle clip ram paddle clip that uh i find works real well for for sight fishing the redfish i can hit, hook that up around my waist and i have to clip my paddle onto it and uh, not have to lose sight of the fish when i'm when i'm seeing them out in the water the redfish uh, here is the turning system for the rudder allows me to steer the kayak so pretty much always have my left hand kind of down there 
There's a knob here that allows you to lock that into place so it won't, it won't be shifting around on you if you ever want to just stay in a straight line. And then this trucker's knob really allows you to handle it real well and, and cruise along. Again, fish finder, side pockets, essential little baits down there, and you see the pedal drive system. Uh, the paddle is probably really inexpensive bending branches paddle. It's pretty light, not the lightest, but for 50 bucks instead of 300, I'd say it's definitely the way to go. So that's a very quick rundown of the Topwater 10 foot 6 inch PDL pedal kayak. I got to tell you again, I've been so, so impressed. I'm, I'm estimating the hours on this thing. In three years, I've probably put 2,000 hours. I'm not sure, but uh, I got to do the math on that. I, I've had 15 hour days in this thing, and it's just been a dream. I'll show you a little more in, in depth of the pedal drive system. Uh, and again, this thing comes in at $1,800. Uh, they make larger versions of it. Now they make versions that instead of the pedal system, they have a trolling motor actually. So all kind of different systems that Old Town's coming, coming out with. But it's just the best combination to me of, of stability and still moves real easy and, and slides through the water pretty good. I can paddle it if I need to. Uh, again, the stability for standing is unbelievable. I can stand and kind of almost walk around up there. And then it fits real nicely in a mid-size truck. So that's another part of the process for me as I have a smaller truck and it, it, it fits in there no problem. So I'll be right back with you. I hope you enjoy this part of the video. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, so I want to show you a little bit how the pedal drive system works. Right now I've got it in the up position. So for instance, if I'm in extremely shallow water and I'm talking about like six inches of water, I would pull this up or if I'm dealing with a lot of weeds and simply pull it up and prop it into place there and it stays without moving then I can I can paddle or I can stand and sight fish in the, in the very shallow waters but to pull it down all you have to do is pull back on this this handle and drop it down in there and then it locks into place and now you're ready to go and with the pedal drive down you can be in a foot sometimes less than a foot of water and still have no issues uh, I love the idea that it has the forward and reverse so that I'm able to to go in there real close and then if I hook into one instead of it pulling me into the into the hole and messing up all the rest of the fishing I can just back back out of there in two seconds and, and handle the kayak real well that way so couldn't be happier with how well this thing works again storage system here lock system here easy to disengage and pull up and remove completely I put these two little pads with a runner right through the middle so that I can I can lay a rod there I'll show you that so I can put the rod right down between my my lap and kind of keep the rod that I'm fishing with right in the middle and I absolutely have no problems with it moving and I can pedal and nothing gets in the way there so a lot of little things that you try to do to make your situation work better and better uh, again the locking system this is how easy it is to get the whole unit off so I just unlock it there and then pull the whole thing up and pull it out so it's it's that easy to handle right back down in there it's locked into place and I just latch these two down and it isn't going anywhere just like that and right back in so that's the pedal drive system I don't know how many miles I mean I have gone all over in this thing salt water fresh water dirty water clean water uh, mud, you know, weeds and grass that sometimes you have to pull the pull the lever up and, and simply just clear the grass from the prop. If you ever have any big issues, you undo that bolt and you get in there and you can clean it out manually, no problem. Uh, hasn't given me one second of trouble. It's worked perfectly. GoPro, stop recording. So again, here's how simple it is to transport the pedal drive system. One hand, just carry that and that way I don't ever have to leave it on the kayak if I don't want to and just tuck it into the back of the truck. Pretty cool little system. Easy to clean as well. GoPro, stop recording.